Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel So right now I'm showing you this very very beautiful flower of my LD Braithwaite Rose by David Austin And oh my god look at that it's so beautiful I just caught this one at the perfect timing perfect timing for this rose but not perfect timing for the rest of my roses because it has been raining heavily in the past two days here in Auckland especially in the evening that's why I'm not able to really monitor what's going on because I'm sleeping and for today guys I just want to give you some updates with what's happening in here and with the Dahlia seedlings, of course. I know uh, some of you are really excited to see what happened with some of the seedlings that I have. And in my previous videos, especially probably in back in two years back, um, I have some videos about Dahlia seedlings that I have here in the garden. I have, I still have some of them, and I'm really happy with some of them actually because of the result. But I also just want to show you the damage with the uh, with the garden at the moment but uh, let me just show you also because even though we are seeing some damages we also have some beauties like this one so this is my jubilee celebration which is my god I can smell the scent from here it's producing lots of flowers which I'm really really happy about and oh my god Look at my um, Bosco Bell. Bosco Bell is getting pretty and prettier and looking healthy and healthier. Look at that. These two big um, canes from the bottom, from the base. Look at that. And this is producing this new flower here. And some more flowers of my Jubilee celebration. Oh my god. It's. I think I need to remove this one because it's not it's not looking good anymore and this one as well I think I'll probably have to cut them later on and just to show you also the petunias look at that they look so sad because of the rain it was really looking bushy the, uh, the other day but anyway ah oh my god I'm so excited for this one hopefully this one is another pink like that one not really pink peach almost peach color hopefully this one is another peach um kind of lily i'm really excited to see that one blooming here together with this and my hydrangeas look at that i can see lots of flower buds already and i'm so excited to see this one blooming especially here and this one here my god, I'm seeing lots of flowers. I'm actually thinking whether I should change this one and that one, their location. Because I feel that one is growing and going to be blooming faster than this one. Because that one is getting more sunlight. And this one is a bit, a bit, just a bit late. But otherwise, I see both of them producing lots of flower buds. So that should be alright. And... <clears throat> This red rose is called Del Million and unfortunately didn't really produce millions of roses this season but it did produce some huge canes and a lot of huge canes actually. This one, this one, this one, that one there at the back. So I don't know, I think it's more than five and this one. I think it's more than five new canes um, I saw this season from this. So I'm quite happy with the performance of this one, even though it was also infested by the um, aphids, but it's alright. And then going down here, this is my Darcy Basel, and it's only got one flower in here, but I'm seeing lots of shoots from the bottom. Look at that. And this one is, ah, uh -uh, this one is already big. And I can see that there's another one on the other side. Let's go to the other side so I can show you what I mean. You see, look at that. And here. So it's producing some basal cane, which is always a good sign for me. Always welcome. 
and I think it's also preparing for second flush because I can see some flower buds in here and another one down there and yeah so let's see this one is my Thomas A. Beckett which is also now preparing for its second flush but looks like the second flush is even better because there are more buds as I can see in here ah let's remove this there are some weeds growing under here and I just need to remove this this is really what happens when you don't really pay attention that much to to your plants so I was really busy so let me just throw that one there and by the way let me just show you these hydrangeas my god it's so beautiful but they didn't bloom all at the same time I have one in here that is a bit late oh by the way this is another beautiful beautiful rose so this is wild cat but I think I had to trim this one because this is too heavy but look at this one this hydrangea here I think I probably have to remove this um, I think this is crocosmia so I will have to remove this one later and also my Eden roses are really looking good my god but I need to move it somewhere I'm not really sure I need to think about it but let me just show you also this part of our garden it looks a bit mess at the moment because of the rain last night but otherwise I'm really seeing lots of good things at um, about this um, dahlias that we have here and some of these roses too um, this is my cornell which is producing this fully double flowers now um, I will have to remove the the buds because not buds um, the seed pods because I don't want it to produce some seeds my Gertrude Jekyll my god look at that it's producing this huge cane it's almost oh my god I really have to I need to stake this one and put it somewhere yeah and I, I need to guide this one and let it grow somewhere more appropriate and some of my dahlias as you can see ah my god there's another huge cane from this rose oh my god look at that so this is my um, wish come true by Bob Matthews and my god this is the first basil cane that um, grow from the bottom and then here's another one my god so I have two huge canes now from this rose this season my James L. Austin it really produced lots of nice flowers like two days ago before the rain but now it's a bit damaged because of the because of the rain but here's another one in here I was I, sh I should have filmed this one when it was really blooming beautifully but it's fine that's all right look at that beautiful my tranquility actually produced lots of flowers down here but i didn't really get to see it and ah this is my fans valentine look at that so this is one of my seedlings from my cafe ole and unfortunately unfortunately my caitlin's joy is looking a bit sad because of the because of the rain i'll have to yeah i'll have to cut this later look at that but still beautiful i have to cut this and especially this one i need to remove this this petals you know actually um sometimes if you're going to look at your dahlias they're kind of like committing their own suicide you know <laughs> because of this petals once it started falling down like that and falling on their leaves you need to remove it otherwise it will become rotten that part where it's falling down it will become rotten and i think this is my boom boom white and this one as well and i'm not sure what this one is but this is probably oh no I have a cafe only somewhere here, but I think 
the cafe only didn't grow. Hopefully this one is my French can can. So I haven't seen yeah, didn't see my French can can not blooming yet. But I don't know, maybe it's one of those down here. I can see there's ah no, that's another cornell. Let me just um go to this side. I have my cornell. Yes, look. That's cornell down here blooming. Look at that. Yeah. That's my cornell. This is my adorable perfuma and look at that. It's producing lots of flowers. And there's another one in here, but there's a spider actually um nesting in this part of um our garden so you can see uh you cannot see the yeah the the web with with water there you go there you go look at that and here is my other del million which is also i think it needs to be planted directly into the ground not here yeah not in the pot i'll have to move that so this is one of my seedlings as well and my god look at that so beautiful the other day i was uh, filming this one because i want to show you what happened and now it's starting to have some color so this is this is my almost like cafe au lait color really look at that so this is also from my peaches and cream but so beautiful and i think it's starting to rain again so before i continue guys um let me just pause this video so i just decided to cut this two flowers from my princess margareta because it's so tiny and i feel i probably want this plant to produce on more shoots more canes rather than producing flowers so as i can see in here down here anyway it's already doing its uh job which is now producing some canes down below so let's see what happens because as you can see guys um it doesn't really look so good at the moment so that's what i'm doing right now uh even with this one this is my dad rose and i'm i'm just trying to trim all of the flowers now because of the rain and yeah it's just not looking so good at the moment maybe it would be best to just trim it so that's what i'm doing right now and let me just throw this one all right so here you go guys i just gave my dad rose a hard prune so let's see what happens um i probably need to prune this one a little bit more but um i just want to show you that i already did it and i never really gave this one a hard prune this uh last winter so that's why i think that's the reason why it looks a bit leggy but in fairness to this rose it did produce lots of flowers despite being uh, pruned hard and let's see i am really hoping that it will produce some new shoots from the base and i'm really excited for that one i probably have to move it somewhere where it's getting lots of sunlight so that's my next uh plan for this rose but for now there you go guys um we'll definitely update you what's like doing a hard prune for your roses in the middle of the season instead of doing it during the winter we will see the results and i'll update you with that but for now let me just continue what we're doing here in the garden let me just show you also by the way this one look at this so beautiful so this is um one of the plants given to me by my friend and look at this one here these lilies they are now blooming so i lined them up in here and it's just so nice to look at them and my lady of charlotte is still producing some flowers and more flower buds 
as I can see in here. And by the way, look at this. This is really huge cane from this lady of Charlotte. And it's producing some flowers there as well. Just next to it is my Emily Bronte. I didn't expect really that my Emily Bronte would grow like this. I thought it's more of like a Princess Anne level. Because here's my Princess Anne. And my Princess Anne is just really growing that much. Not really that tall. Oh, actually. Oh, this is a very tall cane. Look at that. This is this is the that tiny shoot from the bottom. And now it's... um getting a bit taller but it's still kind of like acceptable <laughs> acceptable height but um yeah but this one the Emily Bronte is really really just tall um oh I can see that there are lots of um dead canes down here I probably have to trim that one later on as well but then just to continue what I'm doing here so um we'll give you more updates with my dahlia seedlings especially these peaches and cream seedlings and some more of my dahlias here as you can see my corali my corali is producing lots and lots of flowers but again because of the rain i already cut some of my cafe ole there and throw them here look at that and let me just show you this one this very beautiful lily here I had some uh, roses down here. I think these are my uh, gardener's dream, a gardener's dream rose, that orange one down the bottom there. And my God, look at this one. This is my monster wood that's now turning yellow. So I don't know what will happen to this one, but let's see. But still producing some flowers and some more flower buds there. But I don't know if I had to remove all of these yellow leaves. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just leave it there for the meantime. And I almost ripped because Sissy was just behind me. These Alstromerias here are also doing fabulous together with the Bacopas down below. And I just want to give you also some updates with some of my um, dahlias here. So this is one of my seedlings from yeah my fans valentine but it's not producing a very pleasing flower this is a purple flower flower bud and i don't know what this one is i'm i'm hoping that this is one of my seedlings and let's see what happens but it looks so promising another corali another corali here but um i didn't really look at this one i didn't really plant it properly so you can see the tuber down here but i think i need to move it somewhere some of my dahlias here this is my cafe ole i'm not sure what this one is but i'm suspecting this is one of my sweet natalies this one not sure what this one is but some of them were my seedlings but let's see let's see what happens let's just wait for it and then this is my partner's garden project here. He is just planting some of these dark color um, leaves um, in here. I don't know. He likes this um, these plants with dark foliage. I don't know why he is really kind of like drawn to that. And look, even the grass, he wants black grasses here. So that's what we are doing here at the moment. And this one, this Acer, it's also because of him. He loves this kind of um, colors in the garden. That's why I kind of like appreciate it as well. But I also have some of my roses in here. And look at that. This one is my vintage miss from Bob Matthews. Also producing some new growth in here. I have my Enzid Gardener down there. And oh, look at this one. It's producing some new cane here. Look at that from the bottom. And this one as well, my god, look at that, I can see it. But that one there, I'm not seeing anything yet. But I'm not planning to move it anymore, I'll just leave it where it is at the moment. And 
this one my god my magnificent look at this it's really magnificent look how many basal canes are growing from the bottom my purplicious i just moved my purplicious here because i don't know um it's now left with only one huge cane so let's see what happens and my dublin bay is also looking fabulous in here but i probably probably need to stake that on hopefully it will also produce no shoot no gains from its base but i'm not seeing anything at the moment but let's give it a let's give it some time and more dahlias in here and some of them are my seedlings so i'm not sure what the colors are and this is my stargazer so there you go all right guys so i think that would be all for today um it's just that it's raining so i can't um really keep on blogging because i don't want to get sick and um i'll definitely give you some more updates with what's happening in here and i feel that the garden is also not looking that good compared to what it was two days ago so let's see um what happens and we'll definitely give you some updates with what's going on in here and uh, by the way before i leave you let me show you this one so this is my fans fuchsia one of my seedlings like three years ago and i'm just happy that it's surviving and looking well in here and i see some more flowers here from my cafe ole and more flower buds from some of my lilies so lots of flowers to bloom still many many more to come and bloom here in the garden and i'll definitely update you guys in my uh, upcoming videos all right guys thank you very much and i will see you again on my next one bye for now